From my top of the battle, Mr. Castle Curmudgeon, where let's all remember this Christmas Eve that frozen reindeer droppings on your roof can be a very real slip and fall hazard, so let's make sure your domestic servants are aware of it and are using all of their required PPE because the life you save could be that comely kitchen wench. You know the one I'm talking about, that ginger girl with the great big Traxaland. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. America and all ships at sea, and you too, baby Jesus. Welcome to this very special Christmas Eve edition of the Blast Radius. And since we have to dispense with the formalities before we get on with the fun stuff, here is your decline of Western civilization news roundup for the work week ending Friday, 22 December, 2023. Dateline Berlin! Monday, 18 December. And what's starting to be a recurring theme in our, our, our European capital cities, thousands of German farmers descended on the Berlin city center on Monday and used their tractors to clog up the streets and generally disrupt the perfectly urbane, deliciously urban daily lives that our self-appointed overlords so enjoy living, where they rarely, if ever, spare a thought for the series of, event, of events that has to take place in order for them to be able to buy fresh, delicious produce at their fashionably upscale urban boutique grocery store 52 weeks per year and the people whose lives and livelihoods caused that series of events to take place so yes as far as modes of civil disobedience go i am all about farmers driving their tractors right into the center of that capital city and dumping big hot steaming piles of bullshit in the literal sense of the term right on the doorstep of the national and international leaders who don't want to be bothered with the details of where their food comes from. But when it comes time to make budget cuts in order to pave the piper for their dumb, woke, liberal agenda, the, 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 the farmers who grow their food, well, they're the first ones that get come after, aren't they? And of course, they, they blame everything on climate change, so, so they're lying coward douchebags on a whole host of different levels. So to the extent that any patriotic German farmer would ever listen to the opinion of a guy like me, here's what I say. Sir, I mean, sorry, mine hair, you pile that steaming bullshit good and high and loud and proud until those dick nozzles start getting the message, end quote. Dateline Vatican City, Tuesday, 19 December. Pope woke Frank, first of his name, declared this week that Catholic priests can now offer blessings to people of the same sex who are riding the hobby horse with one another. I mean, I'm not really clear on the theological details here. I just never expected to wind up living in a world where, where I, some irreligious American dude of no particular ideological persuasion, would wind up having a more rigidly conservative set of views about the world than the Vicar of Christ. You see, I grew up in a world where even in, even a comparatively liberal pope was still supposed to be the world's gold standard of Christian religious conservatism. I never knew a woke pope was even something that was a possibility. But here we are with Pope Woke Frank I just waving that rainbow flag like you just don't care, like there ain't no tomorrow. It's just a lot to process in a rather short period of time is all I'm saying. And as far as the question of why would gay people want the blessings of the Catholic Church in the first place? I got nothing for that. Frankly, the best argument against gay marriage that I ever heard, I heard from a gay man who said to me, quote, why is it supposed to be the ultimate expression of gayness to act exactly like straight people? End quote. I didn't have a good answer then. I don't have a good answer now. Just as I have no good answer to the question of why is it the ultimate expression of womanhood to defeat a full-grown man in hand-to-hand -hand combat. But the host digresses. Dateline Hollywood! Wednesday, 20 December. Vapid, idiotic celebrities took to social media this week to engage in what can only be described as an orgasmic display of gleeful exhilaration over the Colorado Supreme Court in a show of legal reasoning that would, would, that would make a mildly retarded first grader bury her head in shame declaring that because the orange man is bad and the bad orange man said words that I don't like and the words that I didn't like were said thousands of miles away from any place where my fever dreams would have any sort of legal jurisdiction. Shit, scratch that last part. Then orange man disqualified. God damn it. Our side wins. Game over. Another triumph for democracy. And this is a great reminder, boys and girls, of the fact that the bad people who want to take our democracy away, they do not ever sleep. So we always have to remain vigilant. That means that when we hear a person saying words we don't like or talking about unapproved ideas, 
we always go and find an authority figure and tell them about the things that we have just witnessed and heard. Because the people who want to take our democracy away, unapproved ideas are the solvent that they use to make their poison. Oh, and you thought I was actually going to read out some of those idiotic celebrity tweets? No. No, I am not. Dateline, Washington, Thursday, 21 December. White House National Security Spokesman John Kirby, also known as the guy they send out to the podium when the questions get too difficult that so that bad Baghdad Buckwheat can't find the answer anywhere inside her six-inch trapper keeper binder of doom, struggled on Thursday to think of an answer for that most unexpected of all questions that was tossed at him like a bolt from the blue. Quote, what foreign policy achievements did the Joe Biden administration have in 2023? Because, I mean, let's face it, that's a tough question. And it hurts even more when a dishonest trick question like that comes from a reporter from CBS News, of all places. We're supposed to all be on the same team here, goddammit. But Kirby, he quickly gathered himself and he did what any honorable public servant would do. First, he said he couldn't answer the question because, would you look at that? We're all out of time here. <laughs> and then he blamed the whole thing on Baghdad Buckwheat. And then he went back to the, God, God, would you look at that? We really are just about all out of time here. What, what a hell of a damn shame that is, because I really was looking very much forward to listing all of the many, many foreign policy achievements that Joe Biden has, has attained here in the year 2023. But God, would you look at that clock? Just so many achievements. It's hard to know where to begin. Is that enough, or should I start making balloon animals? Dateline Washington! Oh, that's two Dateline Washingtons in a row. Would you look at that? Friday, 22 December. White House Press Secretary Baghdad Buckwheat declared on Friday with a straight face she never cracked even once, so more power to her, that there is nothing noteworthy or unusual about the current situation on the southern border, which, which by some estimates, 10,000 illegal aliens are currently ingressing the country on a daily basis. And that is just in the Lukeville, Arizona sector, mind you. So it's a good thing we have a serious, competent expert like Baghdad Buckwheat around to help us understand the difference between real facts and right-wing xenophobic racist conspiracy theories. Quote, what we're seeing here at the border, the migration flow, increased migration flow, certainly. It it ebbs and flows. We're at a time of year where we're seeing we're seeing more at the border, and it's not unusual. End quote. So the illegal aliens are, are like, is that it? Which it seems a bit dehumanizing to act as if as if these human beings are just so many leaves blowing in the wind, but who the hell am I to argue with the first black female lesbian woman gay homosexual immigrant? press secretary of color in the history of the republic nobody that's who so god bless you baghdad buckwheat and your six inch trapper keeper binder of doom and all that very very important work that it contains that information you give us every day keeping us dumb and ignorant and that ladies and gentlemen is your decline of western civilization news roundup for this the work week ending 22 december 2023 and with that we send it over to my illustrious colleague the man voted by his high school class as most likely to be a slightly pervy shopping shopping mall santa claus before age 50 your friend and mine the one and only mr caucasian sasquatch <laughs>